Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we got a weapon in my hands here. This one's become highly requested by one particular commenter on my channel, uh, Francis Ha5737. I'm probably saying that wrong, but this is the slug gun. So this has been in my inventory for a long time. I've had this mod installed for a long time, just haven't covered it. So this is a pump action combat rifle. So instead of shooting shotgun shells it's essentially a pump action rifle which is kind of a cool concept in of itself it looks a lot like the combat rifle because it functions similarly um if we take a look at it here in my character's inventory we have the sighted slug gun this is the most kind of basic version it shoots the 0 .45 70 45 70 i don't know how you say that exactly right it does 131 damage with maxed out perks here this is pretty basic though standard receiver as you see here basic ass ring sights right no muzzles nothing crazy like that but it functions like a lever action rifle alternative. That's what the mod author has listed this as. Let's take a shoot it of it. As you see there, you do have that pump action. And then you do have what is essentially like a shotgun reload. I don't know if you could actually put rifle bullets in your gun like that. I don't know you could do it like with a shotgun in a chamber, but that's, that's essentially like the shotgun reload. It's essentially like a, like a pump action shotgun, but it's a rifle. That's essentially the whole concept here. It is an alternative to the lever action rifle. It's, it's inspired by a pump action combat shotgun. That sh but it just shoots rifle bullets, which is kind of an interesting concept, right? That's why it's the, you know, the slug gun. It's, it shoots big old bullets. I mean, big old bullets, right? A 4570 is a pretty big bullet. You guys can let me know. Yeah, the gun nerds will know. The gun nerds in the comments will know. But let's take a look at what we can do here. This is added to the level list, though, so you will find it, you know, where you would find weapons, like on vendors and such. Um, so we do have powerful semi-auto receiver. This should all be semi-auto, right? I don't know why I have to specify that, because, like, advanced receiver shouldn't be... It's not like it's full auto, as you see there. I mean... This semi-auto receiver has a fire rate of 50, though, so I guess it's even faster, so it's not pump action. That makes sense, right? So this is, advanced receiver would be something like pump action. Then you get a 7 rate of fire. That's not very fast, but it is maximizing damage there. And then you can do semi-auto. Let's see what that looks like. Um, short barrel, long barrel, heavy barrel, short light barrel, right? Like all the different kinds of, like, combat rifle things. Um, this might be modified by some of the attachment pack stuff. I do have the attachment pack mod installed, so, you know, different situations for that. Long shielded barrel would probably be the way to go. Narrow spread against a shotgun. Italian stock. Thanks for letting me know I earned some reward points. Fallout. I appreciate that. Or Xbox, really. Um, we got the infantry stock here. Faster ADS speed. Better aim with scopes on the markman stock. The Italian stock is increased ADS stability. Let's put that on there. Let's see if I can even notice that kind of thing. We have a pin set by default, and then your regular iron ring. Glow pin, glow iron, glow ring, short scope. West Tech dot a circle. Let's put the West Tech side on there. That's the interesting, unique thing, at least anyway. Compensator muzzle brake suppressor. Suppressor does reduce range. Slightly increased accuracy. Should improve recoil control a little bit. And then you could change the ammo type in here, too. Um, obviously, some of this is going to require munitions, right? So, like, your, your 44 is obviously in the base game, but, like, 357, 12.7 millimeter. It was maximized damage, but I can't even make that because I don't have... What do I not have for this? You lack the requirements, but I have all the things. I have the science. I have the gun nut. I don't know how I'm going to make that. I don't. And then we have Enclave Paint. That's just regular Creation Club stuff. And then we have to have the Enclave Paint. Kit, which is, again, uninstall that shit. So, this is our dot site. This is definitely semi-auto now. Right? Like, that does very quick on its fire rate. Um, the site is fine. I think it's just a fine dot site. But you can definitely spam that. So, it doesn't, you know... You kind of lose the cool pump action of it. You still pump it anyway at the end, but you can semi-auto spam it. But you, it's only you're only gonna get five shots regardless. There's no like magazine here. You're feeding individual bullets in there. That reload is long too, and it's always gonna be five regardless. So if I shot once, it's still one, two, three, four, five in there. Just you know, one of those costs of <laughs> them never updating how Fallout 4 works on console anyway. Obviously, there's like bullet counter reload and stuff. It doesn't apply. Um, I, I still have to check out that. Um, Italian scope. We got recon scopes, night vision scopes, long scopes, all that stuff. Um, let's put the hollow sight circle on there just to see. Um, we can change ammo type. 4570 is pretty much the way to go unless you can get that 12.7, but you can make it different types of rounds if you have more different other types of stuff available. Um, better recoil control, I, w I guess, would be a thing. Um, let's put that advanced receiver on there, though, because I think, really, maximizing damage per shot is going to be the way to go here. Um, Semi-auto is cool, right? If you really want to spam it, that's an option. I don't like that. That's the way too much reticle for me, but... Like, I don't know if recoil is really a problem. I think that sight stability is going to be a really big deal when we put, like, a longer range scope on there, that Italian stock. But, you know, they do have the marksman stock, which is also better aim with scopes, right? So you got to kind of, like, think about it. But let's see if we put, like, a long scope on there. And then... 
I want to keep it suppressed. And this Italian stock, or I guess we got we got more stocks. Than I didn't even scroll down. Um, epic recoil, increased ADS ability and bash damage. I mean that's kind of cool. I guess this is the best probably way to go. Um, I didn't realize it could go deeper down in there, but you know this you could definitely snipe with this weapon, right? Like you put a long scope on there, you know. You snipe with the lever action rifle, right? That's how I would do things anyway. Long scope works just fine. I mean, I don't know why you're concerned about recoil at all, though. Like, even in semi-auto mode, you're not really dealing with any kind of measurable recoil where I would feel like, oh, I'm off target because it's kicking up too much. Like, like a full auto gun or some of the harder hitting crazy stuff. I mean, I guess we could try some of these other calibers just to see. This is, like, supposed to be better recoil. I mean, we'll make it... We'll make it semi-auto again, just to see. I guess, is this like a this slam fire receiver? Is that even faster? No. The fastest one is the one down here. Powerful semi-auto is the way to go. You can do the short barrel too. You do lose a lot of range. It just weighs less. So that's really the only benefit here. It doesn't have like anything I would suggest to me that like that's the way to go actually. So, I mean, it's not going up at all, right? Like that's not, it's got really tight hip fire too, which is kind of nice, right? Like, um, but like even in the scope here, somehow it's not moving. Right, that's with the stock and stuff, I guess, on there, but, like, I don't think it's, I mean, I'm trying to think of a way that, like, to make it recoil even, right? Like, that would, I mean, obviously, we use a lighter bullet, so let's put the heavy bullets back on there. Let's take the, let's put the, the tiniest stock on there, like, literally zero stock. It says short stock, but it's practically no stock. And then let's see if we can actually create a situation where recoil becomes apparent. And in the scope, like, a long scope like this, you would definitely see the recoil, um... I mean, it just doesn't, it doesn't recoil. It doesn't, like, even if you shoot it really fast, it doesn't, it doesn't recoil. It would, I mean, a little bit, maybe, like, the tiniest bit, but, like, I don't think you're, like I said, I don't, for the most part, I don't actually think recommending, unless you really want to, the semi-auto receiver, you probably want to go, the whole point of it is this pump action, so the cool thing about it is you put that advanced receiver on it, you get about, a, what, 100 more damage there? You lose 97.1 damage to make it semi-auto. You do gain a lot of fire rate, 42, so, like, probably, like, the DPS is technically higher on the semi-auto, so if you really want to spam shots to make the DPS go, you can do that. Um, but, you know. I think the Italian stock, this increased ADS stability, implies to me that like when I go into this scope, but it should be like, move less, but it still seems to be moving quite a bit, right? Like, it's very wobbly. That stability would be the thing. Like, that would be stability to me as a stat. I don't, like, as a, as a stated thing. Um, but really, probably the way to go, right, is... Because it's, this is a ADS ability too, but I aim with scopes. If you're going to put a scope on there, it's probably marksman stock, and that's where you're going to get more stability. Yeah, that's a, it's, it's still moving though, but it's less. That's the way you want to go, right? If you're going to use a long scope with it, you can do the night vision, the recon. You can suppress it. You get that pump action. The animation is good. Obviously, it works just like... I mean, we've had lots of pump action shotguns in the game. Lots of stuff I've covered by now. Um, the animation quality on a pump is great. I love pump action animations. So I just, it's just the, the weight of it. It feel, it, like the gun has way more feel to it to have pump action or lever action I really do love lever actions too just just the feel of you shot you you getting the next shot ready it just adds more feel to the weapon rather than being like you know I got a big old you know long extended AK, ma AK style mag on there and I'm just like spraying bullets right like this this feels each shot feels weightier um, let's see some third person stuff here it does function in third person um, the reload is still just as long all five shots regardless um, this was out fast hand, but it does seemingly function. You're going to aim down in the scope. Let's put a nod scope on there just for a second, just so we can show off that it does ADS in third person correctly, or what I would consider, you know, good, right? I don't play in third person though. I know people get on my case sometimes because I don't actually cover third person stuff. I forget to sometimes because I don't even like really consider it a thing that you can do in the game so this is our ring glow sights the ring sights are a little bit weird like the way that they're positioned is, is a little bit weird on the gun here right like that they're really low because like you want those like two dots in between the ring like that's how you'd be looking down the gun but you're looking down the gun like in a weird way like it's almost like i can't i, I wish i had a webcam that actually but it's like it's like you're like holding it raised right like because otherwise you're looking straight down the barrel you would see that like the the back aperture part in between like it would be on the sides of the ring but it's not so it's like almost like you're holding it raised it looks really weird that looks weird uh i want to put that energy out there but it does function third person pump action animation is working is pumping reload looks fine from what i can tell anyway right 
my basic thing. I'm trying to get like good angles on it, but it does pump. It does reload. Third person works just fine. I don't like I don't like that sights though. <laughs> what is the pin sight? Is it like different? Because like I don't know what's going on with that. That's a weird, the weird looking thing. Like, yeah, like because it doesn't look like it's raised. Like the pin sights are nice. Right? It's very just like a, here's a little, very tiny green dot. Put it on your thing. But like the way you're looking down the weapon is weird looking, right? Isn't that weird? I think that's weird. I'm not I'm not doing it. <laughs> this just like bothers me. Because I I mean I play a lot of shooter games. Like it's not just like I play Fallout and I've heard a lot of guys in Fallout as well. But like it's just that's not how you look. Look down the sight. Um, we'll just put a short scope on there. I think that might be the way that I want to go. I mean, you do want to snipe with a weapon, I think. And I don't like going that much bigger than short anyway. It just zooms too much. Um, but I, like I said, you could do the semi-auto thing if you really want to DPS. That's in your prerogative, right? You can put muzzle brakes and compensators on there. But this is all just for recoil. And that doesn't make any sense to me at all. Like I said, the weapon doesn't have any recoil. Um, not like in a way where it's something you should be, you should be concerned about, right? So we are going to go test the weapon on some combat. We're going to go snipe some things, I guess. It is kind of a snipery type weapon. 294 damage, 140 range, 91 accuracy. I mean, you can get more accuracy, obviously, as a stat. You can go all the way up to these bigger scopes. and you get. We'll put the long scope on there. I guess we'll get that 100 and whatever something accuracy. Stupid ass, big number. And we'll snipe some people with it. And I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, everybody, we're here at Dunwich Boris. This is like one of my favorite spots to test out snipery weapons because you get that big high ground advantage. There's somebody who's already seeing me, though. So obviously with the penetrator perk here in VATS, we're getting a good VAT shot on that. We can see our VATS accuracy already is quite good. That 84 headshot, just dead, right? Like with this long scope on there, which is really the way you want to go. You can see this person. Oh, they didn't die in one shot though. They, they did. But it's okay. The pump is still not that slow. It's The pump is faster than like a bolt animation on like the hunting rifle or the 50 cal or whatever they call it eventually. But yeah, you could definitely easily get headshots lined up, blow people's domes off. It's a fun time. Like... It functions very much just like you would think it would. Like, it's a pump action, you know, in this case, sniper rifle, but, you know, it's a long range rifle that shoots slowly, but not too slow. And it does have the cool animation quality to go with it. Um, but it has all the scopes and stuff you'd expect. Making it semi auto is kind of cool. Like, you see here, even with the long scope at this extreme range, you're kind of falling off, but it doesn't matter. Oh, I missed that one. They're vaguely shooting at me. No, I'm in danger now. And it has a long reload, so that five shots is going to be costly, but that's the same, like, as a lever-action rifle alternative, the lever-action rifle does the same thing. Let's see, how many times did it take me to hit a 64? Well, I hit the first one. I hit the second one. Two 64s in a row is pretty good. Pretty good statistical luck, I guess. 95, right in the chest. It's not doing a huge amount of damage, but it's, it's, it's very similar, I would feel like, to the lever-action rifle. It's just essentially like a pump-action variant, or maybe like a pump-action combat rifle, too, if you want to think about it that way. I wish I could, uh, you could obviously get a little bit more damage on it with that 12.7 millimeter ammunition. Um, I just don't know how to craft that. I don't know why it's not working for me at this current moment. Hey, the hip fire is actually quite nice too, though, to be fair. It's part of the deal, I guess. I don't know if that's, like, included with the weapon, so it does... I mean, I think the lever action rifle has pretty good hit fire too, to be fair. I remember hit firing that thing if anybody got close to me. You put a long scope on it, but if they're even within, like, a decent modicum of range, I could hit... Hit fire shots. As I say that, I miss a bunch of them, but that's pretty far, to be fair. That's pretty far. I probably shouldn't be hit firing from that far away, but I did. Okay. Scope it in. It does shoot pretty quick, though. I feel like that's still fairly fast. The reload is long, but, like, it functions well. I think this is a good gun. It's a solid gun. It just, it doesn't add, I think, anything too crazy that's not already kind of in the game. Because you can always use the lever action rifle and, you know, the combat rifle and be semi-auto. And obviously, I think you give up a little bit of damage probably on a semi-auto combat rifle. But not too much. And then you get the, the benefit of rate of fire. You could make the semi-auto too, but then you're losing out on the on larger magazine size. I'm really concerned because ever since the next gen update, they added the Enclave right over here. They're like doing nasty things over there. I don't want to fuck with them. Somebody's way down in there. I mean, sure, 91. You want to hit it? No, <laughs> of course not. The penetrated perk can't penetrate everything. Nothing, okay? But yeah, it's a solid gun. It's a, it's a pump action rifle. That's it. That's what it is. It's kind of it's got cool style to it. It can be semi-auto, which I think kind of ruins some of the aspect of it, and because it just becomes a worse semi-auto gun than the semi-auto combat rifle. It has cool scopes. It has some unique custom things to it, right? Like. And it does seemingly, I think, hopefully work with the attachment pack, or if it just includes some of the stuff from the attachment pack. It's got good attachment variety, um, but just a solid gun overall. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below.
If you do want to check out this mod for yourselves, make sure to check out the top link in the description. There'll be linked there to the Bethesda Dynamic page or the Nexus mod page. You can download this mod for yourselves there. If you guys have enjoyed the video, leave a like rating down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so that way you can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.